as Nelda likes to say, sometimes all it takes is a spark. Technology seems to also be making some helicoptering features of our lives worse uh, and more intrusive, uh, yeah. giving us the ability to monitor even more. So what do, what do you think about some of those gadgets and things that are, are yeah. It's, it's, it's such a, uh, such a pixel of worms that we're talking about. There's, there's so much, you're right, that technology allows us to do. And did you read the Harry Potter books or any of them? I don't know. If oh, you yes. Them. Yeah, <laughs> yes. me too. Oh, yeah. I really like them. I know your kids. Um, so you'll remember that one amazing magical thing that Harry finds, probably with Ron, is the Marauder's Map. And they unfurl it. And the amazing thing is that when you look at this map, you can see where different people are at any different time. You can see Professor Snape is here and Dumbledore is here. And it is, it's, this, uh, it's this amazing tool. Nobody else has it. It's magic. And now, look it. I've got it right here, right? I can yes. see exactly where my kids are anytime. And, um, and uh, you know, furthermore, you're just asking about the, the role of technology and sort of surveillance of kids. I can see, you know, if I choose to, um, who they've texted, what they've texted, which websites they've visited, how long they spent, what their grades are, how they did on the most recent test. In some schools, you can see what did the ch children choose for lunch? Did they take the apple or the piece of cake? Answer, mm. the piece of cake. Um, or if they took the <laughs> apple, they traded it for a piece of cake. I swear to you, that's what happened. But you don't know. Um, and so you are privy to, privy, private, right? Yes. You somehow have all this private information. And it's, you know, when it's uh, presented to parents, it's presented as, well, don't you want to have peace of mind? Don't you want the peace of mind of knowing that your child got to school? And I'm like, my mom had the peace of mind that I got to school every day when I walked and passed the crossing guard, who was a 10-year-old, um, without needing a ping you know, your daughter has safely arrived. Your daughter has entered the first door. Your daughter has entered the second door. Your daughter is stopping at the water fountain. And so I feel like the technology that's giving us peace of mind is really doing the opposite and sowing the seeds of fear that like, did she get to school? How come I haven't heard? And God forbid the kid's battery dies or they leave the thing in the, in the locker or they trade phones with another kid just for fun. Your heart is in your mouth the whole time. And in a way it's driving parents crazy but I think it's also driving, I don't know if it's driving children crazy, but it is changing childhood because when you were out in the field, your mom knew that you were outside and that you'd come home probably for dinner, but you didn't have the, the same feeling as like, you know, parents say, I just want to know where they are. That way I can give my kids freedom. And it's like, well, you know, when, when we release prisoners on work release, <laughs> there's this ankle bracelet that we put on them and you know, they, it can't come off and they are all, their, their, their whereabouts are tracked and that's not freedom. And when kids grow up thinking that their parents don't trust them to do anything on their own, you know, like, I love you, honey, but I don't trust you or I don't think you can handle that or I, I trust you, but I don't trust you in the world. Well, that's not trusting them. It's a different feeling. It's, 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 a, it's an umbilical cord that just hasn't gotten cut. And I think it's driving both generations a little crazy. I think it's making young kids anxious and depressed. And I think it's making parents very nervous about the fact that if anything bad happens, there's, there's no way they can say, I didn't know what was going on or it was fate because you could have known. Why weren't you watching closer? Mm -hmm.